guys. Hey guys, welcome to the Rooted in Love Homestead channel. We uh, greatly thank that you guys have found this channel. Um, we want to give you a little introduction about who we are. My name is Rico. I'm Brandy. And uh, we, uh, again, we wanted to make this channel to kind of show you guys and document it. For, for us as well, um, our first year really homesteading and kind of in the future, kind of just going throughout our day-to-day our -day lives doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of expect maybe two, three videos a week um, kind of deal going on because I do have a full-time job and she's a stay-at-home mom, so she's got a full-time job. Um, but, you know, we want to give, just make this kind of just uh, do a little introduction as to what to expect from us, who we are. So, so as he said, I'm Brady and he's Rico. Um, we're going to do a little bit of background information on mm -hmm. us as far as, you know, where we come from. And um, so, how many years? We, we came from a third story apartment yeah we've always lived in the city really yeah yeah um so this is the first time that we've actually ventured out from the city um but we did we before we moved into our now home we lived mm -hmm. in a third story apartment mm -hmm. um when we uh had, yeah well, we had well the reason we had to do it was we made some you know not not good decisions yeah. Uh, financially before that so um, we did pay off our debt yep. and then we moved into the apartment so um, with a dog and a baby yeah. <laughs> so that was interesting time um, so basically yeah that's where we came from and then we moved here to mm -hmm. our home just this year, March 2020. Mm -hmm. So we've been here six months, five, six months? A little bit? Yeah, yeah. five, six months. Um, August now, late August, getting ready to be September. Yeah. So, so and we love it out here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on an acre. Yeah. Uh, one acre. Yeah. So, and a lot of people don't think you can do much with one acre, but you really can. Mm -hmm. You just have to know how to utilize. And that's, another, and that's another thing about this channel, too, is we understand there's a lot of people in our situation mm -hmm. that don't have a ton of, you know, a ton of land to work with. Mm -hmm. um, before, when we were looking for a house, I remember one of my things was I wanted a property with two acres, mm -hmm. kind of minimum. Yeah. And it was funny, when we came across this property, on paper, on paper, it really didn't meet any of our criteria, did it? Not too much, no, area-wise, it, it meant, yeah, like, our area, yeah. but other than that, no, And it was one of those much. things that when we came out here and we saw the land, mm -hmm. we didn't even come inside yet, and no. I remember saying to, to, to Brandy, I said, this is the house we're going to buy. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so. And then when we came inside, that's when I said, this is going to be the house Yeah, it just got better. <laughs> so. So, it, uh, it's, it's small, but it's perfect for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were not ones that had, I don't think, have ever wanted a We never wanted a big house. house. Yeah, we're, we're, it's just not for us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just not our we, lifestyle we want. We enjoy a small house because, you know, I mean, years and years and years ago, whenever we did argue, we don't really argue a lot anymore. Mm -hmm. But whenever we did, it was kind of one of those things that when we had a small house, it was like, well, you don't really have anywhere to escape to. Yeah, <laughs> so nowhere in the house we, to go. We so of, you kind of have to work yeah, on we, it together. We were forced, to, yeah, forced to forced to work it out. Which I mean, to is, enjoy each other's know. company. We still do. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so kind of what sparked this whole homesteading adventure? is probably one that many of you already are aware of. Uh, we came across another YouTube channel. Yeah. And it was the uh, the Justin Rhodes and the Rhodes family. And it was one of those things that we watched one episode. It was like a Saturday or Sunday or whatever. We watched mm -hmm. one episode. And then we were like, oh, there's more episodes. And <laughs> we ended up, I think, all night just like... Yeah dreaming about starting a homestead yeah and what the cool what a really neat thing about it was just a few years ago when they did the great american farm tour we we actually had an opportunity to meet justin rebecca the mm -hmm. family and everything and that was 
they were they're just the nicest people. Yeah, that was that wonder, was awesome. Wonderful family. So and, and if that, you guys want, you know, head on over the, to their YouTube page. Yeah, as well. check them out. Because they're before, yeah. That's where we got our inspiration. Yeah. From that's the where beginning. that's where it all so, sparked, really. Yeah. Um. So. So another part of it was, or what what kind of got sparked was, I mean, we had had a child. Mm -hmm. um, she was pretty much a newborn still, mm -hmm. and we kind of started to have to ask ourselves the hard question of how do we want to raise a family? Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't in the city. No, we, we didn't, anything that we looked at in the city, like it, it just didn't pull, appeal. it didn't pull out, pull on our hearts at all. Yeah. Um, and it was funny actually when we did live in our old house, um, in the city, it's like I, was, I remember trying to do everything I could. I mean, I planted fruit trees and we did a garden and had chickens and everything, just like what we're doing out here. But there was the lifestyle around us, just it just wasn't what we wanted. And this was the house that we, our first house that we bought before we had to move into our apartment yeah. that he's yeah. talking about. Yeah. So, um, so what we want to do is kind of we have the goals to to grow most i'd love to i would love to be able to grow like 70 to 80 percent of all of our vegetables mm -hmm. and eventually fruits as well because mm -hmm. we plan to put an orchard in on this property mm -hmm. um and berry patches and all that um we're gonna you know again vegetables we want to we have our chickens for eggs right now we have a rooster um, which could potentially reproduce more chicks. Uh, we have two guard geese, which are pretty more, they're more pets and like. Which you guys will definitely see those on the yeah, videos. Yeah, they're like, what would you, like, pro, like they're mascots yeah. of our channel, yeah, really. Yeah, they are. We um, love them. Gus, Gus, and Gunther. So, um, yeah, there's that. Next year, we intend on doing meat birds for, you know, chicken meat. And we intend on doing. Putting in an orchard. Well, yeah. Is that it? Oh, oh yeah, goats. Yeah, we we're getting goats. goats. She's really excited for that. Really she's excited. she's gonna be the goat mama out right. there milking. Yeah. So there's a lot of you know effort and research into getting you know these mm -hmm. these animals and you know the plants we want to do and everything, but. You know, you, if you really want it, you just take the time. And, yeah, and this and property doesn't out. have the infrastructure yet, so okay. part of the reason why we're not doing those those things, you know, the meat and the goats and everything, this year is because one, the infrastructure isn't here, and I'm I'm a landscaper by trade. I work spring, summer, fall. Um, I will go work some somewhere else in the winter to go work for a company, um, and I'll do snow plowing in the in the in the winter as well. Mm -hmm. um, but in, in the winter, I do get a lot more free time yeah. than I would, you know, throughout the rest of the year. Yeah. So winter's kind of going to be, if we ever get, you know, we're a, a good melt, mm -hmm. I'll start digging holes, getting stuff ready for, for, you know, permanent fencing and whatnot for goats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so there will be a lot, you know, you'll, in the future. You'll get to follow that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, you know. And you know we want we want to document this mm -hmm. because we not only you know to take you guys on a journey of what it's going what our experience are going to be like, um, but also to kind of you know be that past um, what example and and learn from our previous videos that we do. Like yeah. I kind of want to see our growth. Yeah. from you know from the beginning to yeah. you know the you, the future so. YouTube, YouTube doesn't just have to be about I mean I, we love I mean we love the fact that we get the opportunity to share this journey and everything but another part of it is I mean YouTube is a cloud-based system where we can just reflect and you know look back on videos and see where we messed up and you know Without, and change it. Yeah, if we we, up, without we having to it. really remember exactly how we handled something, we can literally just go back and look at it. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so we're really excited about this, honestly, guys. We're, we're we're really excited to share this with you. Hopefully, we're our 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 prayer is that there's at least one person out there 
somewhere that has, you know, that same tug on their heart, mm -hmm. that's afraid to make that step. And, you know, hopefully any, you know, anything in our journey can kind of just put them over the edge and mm -hmm. push them to do that. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, it's fun. It's it a is. lot of fun it's guys. Lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, um, anyways, we really hope that you guys join us on this journey. Um, is there anything else you wanted to finish off with? I don't think so. Okay. I think we touched on everything. Yeah. Well, guys, you have a wonderful so. night. God bless. Have a good evening. Bye.